Hello people, uh, this is what I will be doing today. I will be demonstrating how to remove that annoying watermark from the unpurchased version of XSplit. Now, now, the main importance, first of all, will be to get rid of the uh, little watermark that's shown uh, down in this corner of the screen whenever you record. Now that will involve a certain type of formatting of this actual screen. Yeah, it'll be annoying for a second, but uh, what you probably might need to do is adjust the whole video length so it's like that. Move this over here. Try and line it up the best you can. It's good enough for now. Uh, now comes the editing part. Yeah, there's a little step I forgot. When you uh, record a video with uh, XSplit, yeah, that. Um, the issue is it always starts out as an FLV file. So this website I've used before, I've tested it, it's completely free and honestly uh, it's quite simple. You choose your file, go down to this one's my most recent one. Uh, okay, so there's a little bit of something that I didn't realize happened. Uh, when the video I converted happened to be the video I was recording on, so it cut off. So what I'm going to do right now is just scale down the picture size to show you what I mean. This can be done in a number of programs. Uh, the one I'm choosing is Sony Vegas, so... And now it's been cropped. Thank you. See you another time. Goodbye. Hello YouTube, and if you're still here, then you want to know how I scaled down the video in Sony Vegas Pro 11 specifically. Now, uh, near every, in the little event area where you have all the videos and stuff, there will be these little boxes, event pan crop, event pan crop, event pan crop. Click on any number of those videos where you can then move it like this. It's a very straightforward process. You move it kind of like that and like that and boom it was cropped. Now if you're wondering about how I made it crop itself, that's quite simple. If you've ever used Sony Vegas Pro before you know that keyframes allow for the editing of a video within a certain time frame. So you're allowed to set a time frame that stays constant, then set the time frame ahead of it of, of what you want the goal of the motion to be. And it'll just follow through with that. So it's quite a nifty tool if you think about it. Now, uh, thanks for watching this video. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you think it was helpful.